Now direct from the STRS Newsroom, here is STRS News. Hi, my name is Emily Colon. And I'm Angela Ebert, and this is STRS News for Tuesday, April 29th, 2014. This past Sunday, I participated in the I Race for Vocations 5K Run Slash Walk at Rowan University. It was a beautiful day with great weather. Many people attended. Some were from our school and parish. Everyone who took part in the event received a t-shirt with the race's logo on it. The race course was very nice as it went around the college campus. The race was dedicated to prayers for vocations and many prayers were said by sponsors for vocations. Thanks, Angela. On April 22nd, thousands of people celebrated Earth Day. On Earth Day, many people tried to help lessen the pollution in our environment. There are many things we can do to help protect the Earth. You can donate clothing and computers to charities, pack lunches in reusable containers instead of bags, or just remember to put recyclables such as water bottles or soda cans in a recycling bin. Recycling one can of soda can save enough energy to run your house TV for three hours. Small things like throwing out trash instead of throwing it on the ground is something that anyone can do, no matter how old you are. We only have one earth. Keep it clean. Thank you, Emily. This is a special day for some important people in our school community. We would like to wish a happy birthday to the following student. Happy birthday to Christopher Monaghan on April 28th. Thanks, Angela. Here is your STR's weather report. Today's highs will be 52 degrees with a low of 47 degrees. For the rest of the week, expect rain. First, we go to Victor Gonzalez with his report on saints. Spring began on March 20, 2014. It will end on June 20. March is the time of Jesus' resurrection and we talk about rebirth. Is it, a t it is a time when many flowers begin to grow and bloom. Talk with your parents about growing a garden at your house. Maybe a flower garden of your favorite flowers or grow a vegetable garden to grow fruits and vegetables throughout the season. I hope you enjoy the warmer weather and are getting ready for the summer weeks in just a few. Thank you for that report, Victor. Next, here's Aitanara Todd with her report on the racing canonizations. As we all know, Pope John Paul II and Pope John XXIII were canonized on April 27, 2014 in St. Peter's Square in Rome. Pope John Paul's real name was Carl, and he was born on May 18, 1820, and he died April 2, 2005. We celebrate his feast day on May 15. Pope John the 23rd's real name is Angelo, and he was born on November 25, 1881, and he died on June 3rd, 1963. His feast day is celebrated on October 11th. Let's give a round of applause for our two new saints. Report Itinera, and now a special report from Will Frank on Cinco de Mayo. Good morning, Estiras. As you may know, Cinco de Mayo, the 5th of May, is coming soon, but you may not know why it is significant. On May 5, 1862, during the French-Mexican War, the Mexican army unexpectedly defeated France in the Battle of Puebla, a small town in central Mexico. This victory was a great one for the Mexican government because it symbolized the country's ability to defend itself against threat by a powerful foreign nation. Today, to commemorate Cinco de Mayo, some cities throughout the U.S. have parades and concerts the week following up to May 5th. If you have any questions, feel free to ask Senora Strip, our Spanish teacher, about this holiday. Thank you. Next up, we have Nicole McHugh, our special fourth grade reporter, with her report on Jesus' resurrection. Forty days after Jesus' resurrection, the risen Jesus had gathered with his apostles outside of Jerusalem. He told them that they would receive power when the Holy Spirit came upon them. 
they could be strengthened to be his witness to all the ends of the earth. Thanks, Nicole, and all of our reporters. A special thank you to our crew, Dean Blizzard, Tally Alino, and Rebecca Martell, for all of their hard work. Most of all, thank you for watching STRS News. I'm Emily Colon. And I'm Angela Ebert. From all of us here, have a safe, happy, and holy week.